Um, honestly, like it's still it still hasn't kicked in like totally because like I don't really realize we're national champions yet. I think it's gonna come like more with days and when like everything's gonna start selling in. But it for sure like feels great to be champion. I don't know. It's like the goal from the beginning of the year. So I guess it's like the best thing that we could do in our sport. Um, well, the day after we're traveling back to Columbus, but we got received and welcome like on the, on the softball on the softball game, I think, and everyone just gave us a round of applause and it felt great to be back home and see that people were appreciating what we did back there in Penn State. And I think the next day we're just also celebrating with the team and we came back like all together. We had an official uh, celebration too with all the members of the athletic department. And it was pretty nice to see that all those people were appreciating the fact that we put on the work and that we work hard to get that title. There were like many people from the athletic department that we don't really see every day too. So I guess it was cool to see that people that work behind the scenes and work for us to like put on the work and go and win that title over there in Penn State. Um, it was actually yesterday. We did that yesterday. It was pretty cool. There was Gene Smith, the like responsible for athletic department and many other people that worked for athletic department. So Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I don't think we did anything different than the last season, my first year here, but it definitely goes through a lot of lifting and be ready physically for a long season that goes from January to May with like two games a week or three sometimes. And then we put on a lot of work on the technical aspect of our game this year. I feel like we like develop some skills that we didn't have last year and I think Kevin Birch our new coach just added a lot of like I don't know how to describe it but he brought a lot of technical aspect that we didn't have before and I think this helped a lot during like all the games that we had and until like the final. From last year's, I feel like my attacking skill was pretty, it was okay, but it wasn't like this year. So I, I think I developed a lot of like my attacking skill this year, but um, my passing got better a lot too. And I think that's pretty much it. From last year's, nothing that much changed, just like the team was playing better together, I think. Definitely not give up because um, we were down against UCLA in the fifth set and we we're down in the first set against BYU. Like we, they had seven set points, I think. So definitely not give up and keep fighting till the end because it ends up paying off all the time. It's just the same thing as Every time I go to the end line, I'm like, I just don't think about anything and I have no questions in my head. If you have a question in your head when you go serve, it's worse than being free and just go for it. So like wherever I go to the service line, I'm, I say to my, I say to myself that I'm going to toss the ball really far in front of me and just go for it not think about anything, not think about the error because it would just make it worse. So, and if I have an error and I have an error, I just go for it and it paid off on that last point.
as as I said, like you can't get anxious or anything. You just need to keep fighting and be steady. Because if you show the opponent that you're going down or you're stressed or you're panicked or anything, then like they can take advantage of it and they can dominate you. But if you show response and you're and you're steady in your head and you're like, all right, I'm just gonna give everything I have and keep fighting till like it's over, then it's just gonna come by itself and you're gonna win the game. We actually got a lot of fans coming up. A lot of like, a lot of those were our families, but we got a lot of like extra fans that were not coming throughout all the season tour games. But the Buckeye Nation that was there in Penn State was great, and they gave us really. In the final, they couldn't really realize with the BYU fans because they were all over the place, but they were still there and they were making a lot of noise for us. And wherever we were winning the third set, we could only hear them and not really the other fans. So it was a great thing to have them over there and it was a great support when you're playing hard on the court. My serve, I think. It worked out. In the semifinal against UCLA, I could just go back in the end line and just serve as hard as I can to score a point. And it was it was my best skill, I think, from about like five or six years ago. So because I've been playing since I'm six, so yeah, it's always been kind of my best skills. I practice a lot, and it paid off in that semifinal over there. I would say maybe jumping higher because <laughs> BYU were really physical and I think where they got us a little bit in that final was um, that they were going over the top of the block and they were making errors too but if we could like be a little higher or a little bit more physical on the net I think that would help a lot in the next seasons so yeah I'm probably gonna stay here over summer and lift a lot to improve my vertical or something but I think I need to get more physical and be more um, more able to jump higher and be like over there with all those best best players. Mm -hmm. Um, my parents had um uh, like concept or I would say philosophy that they would they I have to get my school done before I play volleyball. They put volleyball, they put the school before volleyball, so I guess it wasn't like. I was going into an international high school when I was back home too, so um, I was going, I was like putting school before volleyball my whole life. And I think having a backup plan or something like that, especially in volleyball when you're not sure to have like a full career that goes like until 35 years old, I was like, I need to get my a degree or something that will help me in case I break my leg or something. Well, you know, yeah, I got some wood, but um, I would have to have a backup plan that would make me able to have a good life, even if I can't play volleyball or anything like that anymore. So my parents were like, you just have to go to school first, and then when you're done with it, you can do whatever you want as long as you have backup plans and you're good for your life. So, and I'm not a pretty, I'm a pretty good student, so I think I can just handle playing volleyball and going to school at the same time. And I don't mind going to school for two more years. Um, my sister used to play here for women's volleyball program. So she kind of told me that you kind of have to go there because I went there and it's a great university. So, but Penn State offered me a scholarship too and a bunch of D2 or G3 schools offered me scholarships and since my sister came here and she told me that it was a great school she had a great time right here I was like all right I'm just gonna follow her for her for her path and say that I'm like we're proud to have like my parents came to the finals and they said they're proud to have sent me to Ohio State like my sister so I guess it was kind of there was kind of no choice to make you know what I'm saying it was kind of obvious that I was gonna come here to Ohio State he played first in Aseco Rezovia, the club that's like really good right now. I think they won a bunch of times the national title in the past years. But 
he played there because like he lived he lived by there and he was like it was his first years in professional team but um then he moved to Krakow when like they spent most of their lives and they had a um, team there called Hutnik Krakow and he played there for I think six or seven years something like this and yeah he played the pro and then he got an offer in France where um he was gonna he was it was like by the end of his career so he was like 34 or 33 something like this and then he came to france where he like coached a lower league team and made them like go up in divisions and he's still there coaching mm, not a lot but I mean, especially with my dad, we talk a lot about volleyball and my mom is more like trying to cut off on volleyball sometimes and trying to have more family time. Like she always likes when we go on trips and stuff. So I guess, but even when we go on trips, I play beach volleyball the whole time and stuff. So I guess we can't really cut off the volleyball talking, but um, no, my dad is like, me and my dad, we talk a lot about volleyball. Now my sister, since my sister stopped playing volleyball too, like she's kind of in the work like world. So me and my dad especially talk volleyball a lot, but my mom and my sister still talk about volleyball, but not that much, I would say. No, I was actually raised in France. I, my parents moved and moved to France in like, I think it was 89 or 88, 1989. And I was born in 1996. So I was born in France already. My sister was born in Poland and then my parents moved to France. So like I was raised in France, but as a Polish guy, if you think, if you think about it. <laughs> kind of difficult, but yeah. Okay, let me try here. Um, hola, me llamo Nicolás y juego por Ohio State Volleyball. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It means it's just, I think it's just like Polska Biało Czerwoni, which means Polska Poland, uh, red and white. It's just like the colors of the flag and they're just like going over and over just saying Paul Scab, yeah, what's that one? So yeah. Alright guys, go ahead, ask me questions, I'm ready. On the US team, I would say Anderson, because he's great, he's like physical and he's like technical too he has everything to be the best player in the in the world i think and on the polish team i would say um i would say kurek because he was young and he was good and he was like going really and i've like people back home in france also call me kurek because i'm polish and i was pretty good in the youth so they're calling me like they're calling me baby kurek or something like that but that's just cause like, it was. It's one of the most like famous players in Poland and stuff. Um, I would say Engapeth, <laughs> cause he's just doing crazy stuff the whole time, and he's just unbelievable right now. And what he's doing is great. It's just amazing. Like he's just making new moves that you've never seen in volleyball, and I think he's he's a really, really, really good player. Um, I like the fact that it's a team sport, I would say. I like team sport because you don't live your moment by your on your own. You just can share it and have like a group of friends to share it with. And our team over here would just not come to practice and stuff. We just hang out all the time together. And I think it's great to have teammates, but also great friends. And that can that are here all the time for you and to hang out with you. And I don't know, it's kind of like... Like a brat over here or a gang, if you should think about it.
No, but I've heard about it and it looks pretty cool. I don't know. I've never actually watched it. I've seen like some short videos of it and it seems pretty fun, but I've never actually tried to watch it. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about this. I know my girlfriend here taking care of them, but I'm not, I'm not really taking care of them by myself. I played libero, setter, opposite, and outside here. So basically everything but middle. <laughs> Ohio State. <laughs> um, it's not a quote. It's more like do not let up. Um. That's a really good question. Um, I don't know. I would try Leonardo DiCaprio because I like him. Uh, fighter. Amazing. Um, beautiful, I would say. Well, there is not only one word, but I would say incredible. <laughs> um, I would say drama. <laughs> Chomp serve. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really cry a lot, but I cried when me and my dad, we won the National Cup and when I won the championship here with my dad. So I think my dad can definitely make me cry. Um, Not having homework. Uh, Nighty champ. <laughs> French dish, I would say crepes. Oh, um, I love Polish um, dishes, but I would say what my mom will make me the most is called cutlet. It's like kind of a Wiener schnitzel or something like this. Mmm. I eat it off pizza over here, but it's probably an Italian dish, so I would say a burger. Um, I have a lot of that song coming back to my head, which is um, the song we sang before games. It's like, we ready. I don't know what the title it is, but um, we all, we, I sing a lot this song. We were singing in the bus too, so yeah. <laughs> it goes like um whenever we like cheer up before a game it goes like matt pullman goes and say what time is it we all say game time what time is it game time and then he said the dog's in the house and then we say "Ooh, the dog's in the house Ooh, and then we go again and then we start saying we ready what what we ready and then we just keep going um my family was always supporting me since i was like so I started playing volleyball when she was six. So yeah, they've been there for a long time. They're like, they're at the beginning of everything. So they're like the main reason why I'm playing volleyball now. But mainly my dad, cause we spent a lot of hours together in that gym back in my hometown. Um, he would taught me literally everything. And I think without him, I wouldn't be here right now. So thanks dad. Um, Ohio State is my second family here. I think um, people here adopted me pretty well in the team or in the athletic staff or even like the professors are really nice over here. So, um, yeah, I found also my girlfriend here. She's supporting me a lot. So, yeah, thanks to all the people. Uh, 
Um, thank you for following me up and just being there, cheering for us all the time. And without you, it would be a totally different story, I think. Uh, volleyball, I think, is a sport that's the most played in the world. That's what I heard, but I'm not sure about that. But yeah, um, volleyball is a great sport, and without it, like, I think my life would be totally different. I wouldn't be studying here, or nothing would happen the same, I think.